afternoon everybody welcome on board this sunset safari coming to you live from Juma Private Game Reserve in the Sabi Sands where there is a big elephant sitting under the shade of a marula tree taking it easy on this very warm 33 degree Celsius day 92 degrees Fahrenheit it feels a lot warmer than that hello everybody my name is Steve I'm joined by Gert on camera and as always, we're very excited and delighted to have you with us on this Easter Saturday. Hello. So, having a look at an elephant all the way over there, I scanned a moment ago and I saw him. We were just spending some time at the watering hole because, you know, that's what you do on a warm day like this. Get some shade. Oh, another elephant coming down over there. I don't know if we get a good view in a moment. There we go. Hello, little one. Oh, you venturing out into the open on your own. There must be a whole herd of elephants around here. Izzy B, we are excited as well. We just would like it to cool down slightly and we've picked the right spot. Here, chilling by the dam with elephants. Now, that is actually what I wanted to do this afternoon was to go out and find some elephants and spend some time with them because even if it is hot and sweltering elephants can still bring loads of joy I think every afternoon in Madikwe in January I uh, found elephants they are generally going to come down to some form of water body Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Thanks for joining us for the afternoon ride. We have a lovely elephant here that tells us the weather this afternoon. It's very hot here at Pride and Echo Training Safari Life. We are bringing this show live to you in the area north of the property and the conservation. From myself, Rexin, and of course, BK behind the camera, we are looking for a beautiful, beautiful afternoon if you look at this elephant it's telling you that it's very hot here it's in the nature of all species that have gray dark color as elephant does to wallow if you look at as he pour himself lots of uh, mud that strap at his feet and use the trunk you can see the water running down its body if you look at the skin itself it's got lots of cracks lots of it really looks like uh, it transports water easily. Their main aim is to cool down the body system. It's so important for elephant to do so. Most of the elephant by now, they might be very close to the water source. Young bulls, they like to swim. Breeding herd of elephant like also, but not as the young males. is very, very old. But this one is in between. 35, 38, somewhere there, he might be on that range. So he qualifies, he can be a mating candidate out here if you do come in mass. But you know that a mass period is something that you, how do you maintain yourself as you living here? Do you able to yourself to eat well, drink well, and take care of yourself? Because it's all about when the body reach the certain percent of healthiness in the body system, in their world, in their kingdom. If you don't reach that, you will always really not become in mass because it has to go with your fitness, of course. That's the reason most of the time you find these animals that mate, they have to be withdrawn from the metro car practices and do their own thing away, so-called uh, bachelor boys, where they can take themselves, take care of themselves in different areas where it's healthy food and so forth and water. Finally, huh? Finally. It's cooled down. It's 5.30 here now. We've come to a quarry that in winter is normally dry. It only fills up in summer. <laughs> and the goose here. Everybody.
been waiting for this. And I feel like I can finally breathe. It's been a very uncomfortably hot day. And no one's gonna know, it's not quite a pro party, but it's definitely a sundowner stop. A prusa stop, as they say in the sands. Just a warning everyone, what we're about to show you is not too pleasant, but we have just come across a dead wild dog. And this is my second dead wild dog of Madikwe. Some of you might remember, Davi and I found one, goodness me, maybe back in October. So another one. There was a jackal here just moments ago, but it's, it's ran off. Well, thank you, Peter from Ankoro. Thank you very, very much. The princess, the queen of Juma has returned. We were working tracks this morning, but we didn't find her. Hello. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful to see her again. That is Tlalamba everybody. She's walked straight in here without being too vigilant and uh, the impalas have spotted her. So she's going to move back towards the thickets. She's walking towards Tambeta house right now. We had some tracks going in and out of the drainage down at the bottom of the hill here that we're working this morning. But we weren't able to find anything. Well, here she is. I'm so happy. Family reunion. Look at the boys just loving each other. And old Queen T giving them the growl over there on the road. I don't know why she's growling at them. I think she's a bit tired and a bit overwhelmed by all the drama of these two boys finding each other again. But this is just so sweet. Now the only one missing is, oh bless you Panda. The only one missing is the young female. And she was the first one to lead the way this morning. So she's probably gone a little bit further away. Maybe she also heard the calls and she might come. There's alarm calling behind us. Maybe she's going to pop up soon. Oh, this is just gorgeous. But thank you to everybody who has joined us for our sunset safari today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the cat today and everything in between. I know we did. <laughs> we had a great time. But hopefully tomorrow we're just as lucky. Fingers crossed we can extend cat today to a cat filled Sunday. That would be good. I would very much like that. Oh goodness, but I suppose it is that time unfortunately. And there come the rest of the impalas to stay safe. A brilliant little family reunion again. But thank you again, everybody. From myself and Panda and the rest of the Safari Live crew, we'll be out tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. Central African time. For now, stay safe, keep it wild, and we will see you very soon.